Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought we would plan out the weekend together in my Erin Condren Petite Planner. So let's get started. I love the way this looks. Like, I love my word of the year. I really wish that, I mean, I know it's kind of hard, but I wish it would come out with, like, maybe ones that you could customize. And that might be cool. Like, put your name or your word of the year every year. But this year just so happened to work out perfectly for me. Up here in the front, um... I stuck some of my mid-century circles stickers that came in the back of my planner because, and I'll show you why, because I have been using them. One other change I made is I took out um, that weekly planner. I just, guys, I'm not using it. I set myself up for fail failure every time I try and use this it's not gonna work for me I just I don't need another weekly planner um but in place of it I stuck my like annual workbook for moxie life um companion notebooks because I really wanted that band taken up but just this is so thin it really doesn't change the thickness and it works really nicely um but yeah, we're just going to take this out and move this off to the side because we don't need this anymore. And I want to show you how I've been using this. So I have like covered up the, oh my gosh, the three bars. So I white out these bars right here and then I like put my mid-century circles washi over them so I love how this is turning out and I think I'm going to continue I don't know if I'm going to change up the washi tape every week or what but I've been using like these stickers that came in the back of the life planner like here with my videos so let's set up our weekend I thought this um it's a it's Thursday right now so I thought it would be nice to do one of these possibly every week, um, but maybe not. I know sometimes I get kind of tired of the repetitiveness of daily plan with me, um, but I guess it could be interesting to some, but I like to do these every now and then just to show if I've changed how I'm using it, and honestly, lately I've been changing Every time I've done one of these, I think I've had, like, a different way I use it. But, yeah, I love this washi, and I'm actually running low. So, my next Erin Condren order, which shouldn't be too far away with planner launch coming up, um, I will pick up another pack. And let's talk about planner launch, shall we? Because <laughs> I've been, like, having a little bit of a dilemma with the new patterns. I don't know why I like was just expecting them to do the mid-century circles as an option every year when like obviously they did not say that was going to be a thing. They just kind of hinted at possibly that being an option. I know so many people are over mid-century circles but let me tell you, I am like semi new to Erin Condren and I'm just getting started with mid-century circles. Like this is my favorite print and I really wish and hope that maybe one day they switch over to offering that as an option every year because I love this print. Uh, let's see, what did I do? Oh yeah. So... Last weekend, I'm going to repeat what I did, but I cut, like, I, I'm i going to do a strip that's, like, the width of this. So, let me first measure that out. But then I cut it in half. So, I like doing that. Let me just 
share this off really quick. And then I put it down on a reusable piece of paper and then just slice it in half. And I have washi for each weekend day. So let me move that and grab my reusable. Things are falling. <laughs> my reusable sticker book. And what was I even talking about? Well, I know what I was talking about, but I don't know what I was saying. But hopefully they offer that as an option one day because... I would be so gung-ho on that. But anyways, I just don't think I'm in love with any of the options. And I've kind of been going back and forth. Like, I, I kind of like the colorful harmony. And I felt like, you know, let me just go with it. That's the one I'll go with. But then I kind of had the thought of possibly... Because Moxie Life is still having their imperfect sale. Like, they still have planners available on their site at the 40% off. I was thinking of purchasing one of those in the undated vertical. Because, honestly, I've been wanting to try that layout out. Like, the vertical. And, I don't know. That's an option and if I don't purchase one of the Erin Condren but my issue is I love my Erin Condren hourly like that is my staple planner <laughs> like I I love how I'm using it I've found a purpose for every page so I don't know um but yeah so I was gonna buy that six month and then start that in January and then um, so if I take that route, like, I'll buy the six month undated. My companion notebooks will be used up by that point because I started them at the beginning of this year. Um, and then I would use that for six months and then regroup and redecide at next planner launch if I like their options or if I want to go with another planner. So that's kind of what I've been thinking through. And another thing I've been thinking through is I know what I'm doing next year as far as planners. Well, not fully, and I'll explain why, but we do need to put down our headers, and I have been grabbing some scripts, so let me see if I have them. I've put today, to do, and then here I tried out home. I don't know if I'm going to try that out again. I used to use it as a meal plan section, but honestly, I don't really need that because in my life planner, my hourly, I put dinners and that's really the only meal I plan for the day. The other two meals are kind of just like whatever we eat, like I buy little things to make and then... Um, my days off, I typically make, like, a big breakfast, like, bacon, eggs, toast. But, yeah, so I'm going to definitely do today and to do. Let me find these really quick. And I only have one of, oh, wait, I only need one. No, I don't. Never mind. So let me do this first. So I just put it like in the middle of these bars and you can see it. I don't know. I just love that. I am starting to feel that bump underneath there, but I don't really care about the bump. So if you do, you know, repetitive use of these items will cause that. And then another reason I might not continue this home is I don't have... A home script I mean I mean I can make them of course I'm going to if I do continue to use that but right now I don't have one so what am I going to put there I think we'll just leave it blank for now do I have my habits script in here I don't know where anything is right now. Hmm. 
there they are um no i don't so i'm gonna have to just grab my scripts out Okay, so I grabbed out my scripts. <laughs> okay, so I grabbed out my scripts. Um, and I think what I'm going to do down here, since I just need to figure something out for Friday, I'm just going to put these over here. See, isn't that so cute? I just love that little thin strip of the mid-century circles. And it cuts in half perfectly because... Um, the two, there's like two sets of circles that you can just slice really easily, if that makes any sense. But yeah, so I'm going to do like a little cleaning list over here, that way, just for the weekend, like whatever I want to clean and get through. I know I have one in my life planner as well, but maybe I can go into more detail here. So yeah, there are my headers and, oh, I forgot my habits header. Never mind. I think this is my favorite part of using this planner is like my little like being able to list all of my habits out and I found a way to like bring that to my weekend page as well so what I'm going to do I'm actually thinking I'm going to use one of these mid-century circles circles <laughs> And I'm going to put that by my habits script. I think that would be cute. I'm just going to grab this really pretty peach. Oh, perfect. I like that. And then I'll do one by this one as well. And I'll do the mints over here. But yeah, I love being able to list out all of my habits. It works so perfectly. And what I do over here, because I list my habits here so I can see them, I just put the amount I have, so I think it's typically like 10 or 11, and I'll just put 10 dots in two, like little, two rows of 10 dots. And then I'll, the top one will go for Saturday, the bottom one will go for Sunday, and I'll just check them off as I do them because I can see them over there. So that's perfect. And now we can fill things in. And I really want to keep talking about launch. So I'm using the Precise V7. As always, this is honestly one of my favorite pens. Yeah, look at this, guys. Like, I don't think I've used this at all, really. But look at how much... I really need to order more because I'm scared it's running low. Um, but yeah, so Friday I work, so let me write that in really quick. This part's going to be hard because I can't talk and write at the same time. Like, I'm horrible at that. Um, what do I need to do? I know I have a video going up, so I will do that same, this video, of course, but I'm going to do that same little thing with the circles. Um, but yeah, so what I'm doing for launch or planners in general next year. So sort, I sort of have it figured out. So I am going to go down to one planner. I just don't think I need a daily right now in this like phase of life I'm in I just don't have that many things to plan out 
and I love my hourly. Like, I want that to be the one planner I can give my full attention to without, like, feeling bad like I didn't utilize the planners I purchased. So, I am going to only purchase a weekly next year and see how that works for me. Of course, I can always buy more, but I feel like one of the big things I struggle with this year is trying to find a use for each planner and also like figuring out okay where do I write that at like I kind of wish I would have just started with I mean I started my planner journey with one planner but then I quickly like increased that to two because of like of course you're seeing everyone use multiple planners and you're intrigued and you want to try all the planners as well but I really need to not do that. So I'm trying to find the YouTube icon. There's one. So next year, I am only purchasing one weekly planner. And it's going to be my like catch all everything memories, what I'm doing, to do lists. Now, the issue with that is I feel like I might have to use less decorative stickers so that might be a thing but I'm gonna first just try it out and see how it goes so daily plan with me now where I don't know if that's like a hundred percent true is I'm starting school again in the fall so I feel like I always just go back to school for like a semester and then I'm done and then I go back but I'm really gonna try and finish it this year or not this year but I'm gonna really try and stick with it this year and I'm going in the fall so I may need a planner for school not 100% sure yet if I do it'll be probably like an a5 weekly um something like that I don't know I will see, but I really like my main planner to be kind of my memory, catch all what I'm doing. I don't really want to put school things in there other than like I'm going to be at school from this time. I don't want to have to put assignments and things like that. So that then I'll probably have two planners, but my school planner won't really be like a let's film together, like let's plan together type of planner. So yeah, that is my feelings on everything planner related i know it's so crazy because it's only april and we're already talking about next year's planners but yeah that is my 20 cents about everything i mean i just really can't i can't decide if i like any of the let me do things while i talk but i can't really decide if i like either of the designs or any of the de designs from this year if I did have to pick one it would definitely be colorful harmony because I do not like color blends I when they came out with that for the petite planners I just no it's too plain for me I was honestly guys kind of hoping for an Etta V like design I know that sounds silly but like They've been collabing with her for a while, so maybe, like, an Etta V planner? That would be so cute, and I would be here for it. Okay, let's write down our habits. Okay, so there are my habits, and we have ten of them. So I'm going to use my gray clean color dot, and I'm going to do ten dots on top and ten dots on top. On bottom and they don't have to be perfect because mine definitely are not um, but yeah so then I will go through of course I've been using my like color dot marker but I'll probably just dot the side here when I do these and then on Saturday I'll check these off and in that order and then check the bottom ones off for Sunday I do like to put weather in so let me look on my watch because I'm recording with my phone 
And Friday is rain. Surprise, surprise. We have been getting so much rain lately. But I'm not, I don't know. I like the rain, but only when I don't have anywhere to go. And yesterday, I was running errands, so I did not like it. And I used these ones from Bruno Planning Co. because I love them. They're so cute. Saturday is cloudy. I think after these, though, I'm going to make my own because I do have little clip art that I purchased so even though I love hers I'm going to attempt to make my own and then let's see the high for Friday is 46 and the low is 30 the high on Saturday is 39 and the low is 30 And Sunday is 52.30. It's crazy because next week it's going to start um, warming up a ton. And one thing I need to get are my little... These. <laughs> I'm going to just use these pink ones. And the... What are these called? Check boxes. I guess we can call them. And those are just for my little to-do section. So, Friday is our movie night. And I don't know if I really have any movie night style stickers, but we can see... Honestly, we'll probably just take one of these. This looks so funny because purple and gold were my high school colors. Uh, we're going to put... That looks horrible, but it's okay. <laughs> so, movie night. And what can... I was just... Oh, wait. But that doesn't have like a back in its seat there, so that's not gonna look right. So let's see. Oh, I do have a movie night sticker. Perfect. I like that better. <laughs> My handwriting looks horrible. Um, what else? I have my planner open over here. Chrissy and Designs is having a release of Celebrations Collection add-ons for Father's Day. So, I'm going to grab my sticker book full of her stickers. I, will, I would use this one because I love this little Steve, but I only have three left. I need... Oh, I think I messaged her like a while ago um, asking if she had a full sheet of those, and she didn't, but she wrote down the suggestion. So hopefully she makes those and adds them to the site. Everything is falling today. Um, but let's put this cute little Steve down. Right there. And I'm just going to put new releases. Um, other than that, I don't think there's anything else to write down. I'm not going to make my cleaning list yet because I'm going to do that when I kind of figure out what I want to complete. Saturday. Is there anything big? I feel like there was something. 
I don't know. There's two birthdays. I know that much. So, oops. I need to, oh wait, I can use these. These are so cute. And I think I'm just gonna put them at the top up here. And then, perfect. Perfect. Um, church is on Sunday. that's all I'm going to put right now. I'm not going to put too, too much down because I just don't really know. I know it's a day away, but I don't really know what I'm doing yet. I'll, I honestly like do this sort of thing at night as I'm talking to my significant other. But yeah, thank you so much for setting up the weekend with me. I hope you enjoyed watching this and let me know if you like these sort of videos because I can definitely do more plan with me in this planner but i will see you guys in my next video bye